The importance of this treaty transcends numbers. We have listened to the wisdom of, in an old Russian maxim. Though my pronunciation may give you difficulty, the maxim is dovayai no provayai. Trust, but verify. <laughs> На каждой встрече вы это повторяете. You repeat that at every meeting. I like it. Hey, howdy. You wouldn't believe it. We have almost 2,000 subscribers, right? Old country electrician with 2,000 subscribers, but we're not quite there. Please like and subscribe. We are so close. Man, it would super help. Love that. Um, you just saw the big history video. Some of you are like, who are these two old guys talking about trust and verify? People my age, we remember, right? Ronald Reagan, uh, Gorbachev, trust but verify. And today, man, that comes up over and over with some of the great questions and feedback you've been giving me again about surge protectors, trust but verify. So here's what I want to look at. Here's the big question. Do we have to put a surge protector as close as possible to the main breaker? Now, a lot of you are saying, hey, we should, or somebody told me, I get that, but let's, let's verify this. So here's what I've done, and it's not that I disagree, but I want to verify, okay? Because I came up where I learned everything by having an older guy usually show me, okay? I didn't, I hate to admit this out loud, I didn't start reading instructions for installations until probably 20 years down the road in my career, okay, 15 years. And I got some surprises, right? You're like, oh my God, how can you not do that? It's the way we work, right? It's like, hey, here's a GFI, here's the wires, here's the colors, bada bing, you do it, you go. 10 years later, you read the instructions like, oh, didn't know this was also a thing. So here's what I did. I, and this is what I've been recommending to you guys to do over and over, is I looked up installation instructions for four surge protectors. The Siemens FS140, the Eaton Ultra, Ditec, and Sycom, only because I found it in the bottom of a panel and I thought, well, why not? It was there. So here's what I see across the board on all four of these. As I'm looking at these PDFs here, I've got tabbed open, is one is they all recommend keeping the leads as short as possible. But look, here's the point. They're saying between the surge protector unit and the breaker it's attached to. None of these instructions say that it should be as close as possible to the service entry. Again, we know that most of these that we've been talking about are type 2 surge protectors. They're going to be on the load side, the downstream side from the service, okay, after the main breaker. So, do I think it's a good idea to install it as close as possible? Yes, but I'm looking at the science of that to verify. Okay, I want to do a shout out to Joe Wagner. He left a comment, if you guys want to go there and read it, uh, from the video we did, the Zen of Surge Protection. And Joe Wagner did a great uh, comment sharing, because it wasn't just that he shared an opinion, he shared the results from a lab tests on surge protectors with different lengths of leads, okay? And it was great to see that quantified that the longer the leads are, the more surge voltage you're going, getting back into your home or into the system. Anyways, thank you, Joe Wagner, because that's, that's real stuff. That's, that's science. Yes, yeah, science! That's something that uh, I can verify. So I wanted you to go through, but here's, here's what I see on these four that I've seen that are the same. They all recommend short leads. Eaton Ultra says 12 inches. They're super specific. I like, I like that. Um, again, Distance between the surge unit and the breaker you're hooking it up to, these are type twos, they have to have a breaker of their own, okay? Um, the other thing on all of these, and some of you folks who are watching from other countries have other service systems, your neutral has to be bonded to the ground, okay? In the United States, and I think in Canada, that's normal. We've got uh, the neutral or the common is earthed or connected to earth through a grounding electrode. However, in other countries, that's not the case. Okay, so here's the thing, none of these are going to work, these surge protector units that we're talking about, if you do not have a neutral bonded to uh, ground, okay? Um, the other thing, my last comment, and this is what the, site, the, the SICOM came up from, hidden units. So I was doing a home inspection, this is what prompted this, and I'll share this picture. 
I have opened so many panels doing inspections that have the surge protector thrown into the bottom of the panel, and usually it's double tapped or double lugged off a breaker. So there's a couple of problems I have with that. One, how is the homeowner supposed to know whether or not their surge protector is working if it's buried behind a dead front in a panel? The answer is they can't. Okay, the only thing there that might work for us is with the FS-140, the Siemens has an audible, so when it's damaged or there's a, an alarm, they, the FS-140 gives you an audible alarm. You can hear it. Um, I still wouldn't recommend putting it inside the panel because then the homeowner is going to be baffled and confused, the beeping sound they can't find. The other, um, the other thing is, again, double, uh, or double lugging these units. Most of these, even the Type 1s, are recommending that they have some kind of overcurrent protection. Okay. So, last thing I've got from you guys, Bad Wolf Surge Protection. A lot of you guys have brought that up. It's a cool name. Veteran to owned, near and dear to my heart, but I don't have any experience with them. Five-year warranty. Bad Wolf is also one of the few surge protector units that actually includes protection from lightning. Most of these main manufacturers um, explicitly exclude damage that arises from lightning strikes. So, what's your experience? Haven't used them, haven't seen them. They seem new to me. Not necessarily bad, but definitely new. Okay? Again, like and subscribe, trust but verify. You guys who are questioning, dude, bring the facts. Bring me, show me the beef. Where's it at? Take care.